Welcome to Highline Excel video number 44. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Week 8, uh, Business 214. If you're in the class, just go to our Week 8 website. Hey, uh, we got to talk about index, one of the most amazing functions in Excel. Index, what does it do? Well, we're going to use it first as a two-way lookup. Here's our income and our allowances, and we need to find the allowance amount. So we need to take the 600, race down here, find this row right here, find the two, find that column right there. In terms of the table, this is the table. So the index, if this is the table, needs one, two, third column, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh row. So actually, row seven, column two is how we'll enter it in. And it will return a 10. Now let me uh, change the size here just a little bit. Zoop. And let's do our, uh, we already did our match. We did this in our last video, match this and that. Uh, one for approximate and this one, uh, oh, better, um, this one right here. Uh, looking that up as an exact match and returning a three. So we could do index like this, equals index, and it needs an array. We'll see this one right here where we have our fourth argument, but most of the time you just use this first one, the array. So your whole big table. This is for two-way lookup, comma, and then it wants a row number and a column number. Now the column number is in square brackets because it's not required, and lots of our examples will be one-way lookup. But you'll see some beautiful advantages over uh, lookup function and VLOOKUP, et cetera. So our row number is going to be our 7. So I'm just going to put a 7 there, comma, and our column number, that's going to be our 3. We'll put a 3 there close parentheses, so that's not hard. Index is not hard. Just whatever the range is, and then a row and a column. Control Enter, and did it get it right? You betcha. But what if I change this to 440? Uh-oh, we hard-coded in. Of course we don't want to do that, so I'm going to highlight that. Click on this cell, which has our match, and click on that, and uh, highlight the row with our match for the column number. So index, that is how you do it. Now let's build uh, one all together. Right here we're going to say equals index, and I'm going to get my whole array right here, comma, and now I need a row number. Now match is you just got to get in the habit. As soon as you see row number and column number, most of the times you use match because it just delivers the ordinal uh, position. So our row numbers are here, bloop, so I'm going to click on that, comma, notice how the screen tips is helping us out with this, and now it wants our array, that's it, comma, and my uh, screen isn't working out here, and we're looking up, so our match type, comma, we're going to need an approximate right here, bloop, so we don't need it is by default approximate. So we close parentheses. And then comma, what is our column number? Again, we just think immediately match, M-A-T-C-H. We're looking up our allowances, comma, within this range right here, comma, and the, the match type does matter right here. We want exact match, close parentheses. That means we have two matches inside of our index to look up two directions, close parentheses, and finally control enter, and that gives us our uh, $8. So if we change this to 880, it properly gives us uh, this last row and this third column. I change this to 5, it gives us our uh, $8 there. That is the, the essence of index. Now let's go along. This is two-way lookup. Let's go look at a bunch of one-way lookups. So here we have, uh, we're going to do a one-way lookup here. And the situation is we saw this before with lookup. We have a customer come in and say they want 60 meter boomerang. And our table set up product, price, description. And we want to look up in a column on the right and return something on the left. Well, VLOOKUP can't do that, but index and match can. 
equals index. The array is going to be, the, the return array is going to be this right here, because we want to return the boomerang name to the cell, comma, and now we need a row number. Match, we'll use match. Say, where is this within this range? Oh, there it is, number four. It'll get a row four, and so it'll return boomerang four, because it's the fourth item in this range here. Match, look up this comma within this range right here, comma, and this is an exact match. We're looking up a word. Close parentheses, close parentheses. There it is. Index and match together. Oh, they do so many amazing things. Control Enter. Now if we change this to data validation is messed up there. I better fix. So we select our data validation and show if we select 80 meters and it says, oh, boomerang six. All right, let's look at a couple other examples. So our lookup values are right here, our lookup column, and the values we're going to get a match on are this direction. <clears throat> sure, we're allowed to do that. <clears throat> Equals index, I got a frog stuck in my throat. And the range we're looking through is this right here. This is the lookup column in essence. It's called array here, comma, and we need a row number. No way, one, uh, so we have row 60, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We want to return boomerang four. Are we allowed to go this direction and get the number four? Yes, because the match function doesn't care which direction it's looking. It always returns the ordinal position or the relative position. So if I look this 60 meter boomerang up here in this list right here, it's still going to return the number four even though it's sitting horizontal. It could be horizontal or vertical, comma, and we want an exact match, close parentheses, close parentheses. So now if I control enter, you can see it's got boom four. If I select uh, range 50, it should give us one, two, three as the match value and boom three here. Now let's see it. Uh, a slightly different variation on that. What if our lookup uh, values are in a, in a row? going across the columns, and the value we're going to get a match on is set up in a column going across the rows. Sure, you can do that. Let me change the zoom on this just a little bit. Oh, no, that won't do anything. Equals index. Our array is going to be up here. Comma, and our, mat, our uh, row number. Oh, it's not row number, so watch this. We type a comma. So now it gets to column number, because we need this column, one, two, three, four. And I'm going to do my match. Remember, match doesn't care what direction it is looking in. It doesn't matter if it's in a column like this. As long as the, the data is set up that they're related, this one's related to this one. This second one's related to this second one. This third one's related to this third one. Doesn't matter which direction. Comma, zero for exact match. I forgot the close parentheses, and there we have Control Enter. We can change this to uh, Boom 20, and sure enough, it'll give us uh, a, a uh, number two match here, but it'll return from the original array uh, of values the second value here. Now, let's take this formula right here, the exact same thing, and uh, I'm going to push place it right here. The value I'm going to look up is going to be right here instead. Now watch this. What I'm going to do here is if you only are looking up a column, you don't have to put this second comma in here. Watch this uh, screen tip. Now I put um, backspace and it deletes the comma. So when I look here, it looks like it's delivering a row number. But index doesn't care. If there's just a single uh, set of values here, whether it's in a column or a row, and it doesn't matter if it's set up this way or this way, that row number will give it the correct position. So if you're looking up a column in uh, an array here, only the column, then you can just leave the row out. Uh, all we did was took a comma out. That's the only difference between this one and this one. Uh, and the reason why that's important sometimes is because you see formulas and you're like, why is that missing? Shouldn't that be the row number? Shouldn't this be given the row number? But no, it's because there's only this one uh, set of values here, and so it interpret it, 
it interprets it properly. All right, let's go on and look at our next uh, index example. I3 sheet. Now we're going to see an amazing use for the index uh, function. I'm just going to click here and type equals index. And it says array, the second one, array, row number, column number, area number. That area number means you can do a three-way lookup. Row number, column number, intersection, and the area means which table. So we want to see how to, here how to use that. We have one table here for shipping. Our regions are along here. Our method of shipping is this direction. The intersection gives us the price per pound. Customer 10 gets this table. Customer 20 gets this table. Customer 30 gets this table. So what I've done here is the tables have to be the same, obviously, with the same region. So I put those here. Same. So these will be row numbers. They give us row numbers. These will be the column numbers, and I listed those there, and our customer table. The reason why I did that is because I want to do match, match, match to give us the row number, column number, and table number. Now this kind of example is great for building an invoice. You're going to have this uh, down at the bottom and then you have your, your invoices at the top and you'd actually, uh, lots of people use invoicing for exactly this. Now, let's go ahead and do our matches. Equal match and the lookup value is going to be this west comma and the lookup array is going to be our region right here comma, scoot this out of the way, and this is an exact match. These are all going to be exact matches, so 0, 0, close parentheses. So I get a match there too because west is the second. Let's do here equals match. I'm going to look up this truck, comma, within this range right here, comma, 0, close parentheses. So I get uh, truck as the second one. Customer type equals match, look up this, comma, within this, comma, zero, close parentheses. So I'm getting a two, two, two. If I change this uh, shipping method to rail, I get a one. If I change this to east, I'm going to get a five. You can see I have some conditional formatting showing us from which table uh, where the price per pound would be. Now let's put it all together. The only trick is going to be here, how do we reference the different tables? Uh, let's see if I can scoot this down and make this a little bit bigger here. All right, uh, equals index. The array, you have to highlight all three tables separated by commas, and they have to be in parentheses. Now, I always have lots of notes, so there's lots of notes up here that explain this. But here we go. Ready? I'm going to open parentheses. I'm going to highlight this first table comma, and then this second table, comma, and then this second table. Close parentheses. So now we see inside the index that is the array. And if you forget it, it's in help. It gives you some good help on this. Now the row number, comma, I can simply take this east, uh, or the five for the east, comma, and then column number, comma, and then area number. And the area number is important. These tables have to be in the same order as we have them set up right here. Close parentheses, control, enter. So we get per pound, and we use this amount times the number of pounds to give us our uh, answer. And so customer, you can see it's 43 and a half cents right there. Now let's look at a, a couple other important tricks here. I want to show you how to name these tables all three of them at once. So you highlight that, hold control, highlight this one. I'm holding control to highlight non-contiguous areas. No way. I've highlighted those three areas. Can you name three separate areas? Yes, you can. I'm going to click up in the name box and say uh, shipping three tables. Enter. And now if I go uh, click over here and click shipping three tables, it highlights just that. Now let's go ahead and try that. Equals index. 
and F3 for paste name, shipping three tables. Notice I don't have to put parentheses or commas. I hit uh, comma, and then I click on this one, comma, this one, comma, this one. Close parentheses, and there you have it, index with the shipping three tables. It returns the correct one. If I change this uh, east to northwest, it gives us our um, 11 and a half cents per pound. Now one last thing, sometimes you do not want all of this stuff sitting in cells. You definitely want your data validation at the top of your invoice or whatever. But uh, let's take this, Control C, Escape. I'm going to Control V, Control Enter. I'm going to come here and Control C, and then I'm going to open up my uh, clipboard right there. And then I'm going to come over here, Escape. Click right here and copy. Control C. See how it's filling up my uh, clipboard there. And then I'm going to come here. Control C. So the area number's at the top. The uh, row number's at the bottom. So now I can come down here. I can double click this row number. Double click this uh, cell reference right here. Put in the column number. And then double click the table number and select that one. So there's my one formula. Control Enter that calculates. Uh, so and that formula is uh, pretty nice because it has the three names, the three matches all in one formula. Uh, that is a three-way lookup with index.